Attention Northwest Arkansas businesses and talent seekers. Introducing Onboard NWA.com, your hyperlocal job board crafted for our unique community. Struggling to find the perfect match for your job openings? Onboard NWA simplifies the hiring process, connecting you with the region's top talent through tailored talent matching solutions. Whether you're an employer seeking expertise or a professional looking for your next opportunity, Onboard NWA is here for you. Discover more at onboardnwa.com and let's build the future of Northwest Arkansas together. It's time for another episode of I Am Northwest Arkansas, the podcast covering the intersection of business, culture, entrepreneurship, and life in general here in the Ozarks. Whether you are considering a move to this area or trying to learn more about the place you call home, we've got something special for you. Here's our host, Randy Wilburn. Hey folks, and welcome to another episode of I Am Northwest Arkansas. I'm your host, Randy Wilburn, and I'm excited today because I'm sitting here in a corner, uh, sequestered, we're socially distant, but I'm sitting down with some really beautiful people from Arkansas, Latinas, and Beachy. And I'm sitting with Olivia and Sophia, who are the founders of this group. And if you've ever ridden on the Greenway or been at a bike event locally here and seen a bunch of women wearing pink cycling jerseys, you've probably run into somebody that's part of this group. I won't call them a crew. They're not a gang, but they are a group of bike riders and they are have kind of made a way for themselves within the larger bike community here in Northwest Arkansas. And so without further ado, I wanted to welcome Olivia and Sophia to the I Am Northwest Arkansas podcast. Thank you guys so much for coming on. Yes, thank you. I appreciate the invitation. Absolutely. So the way this works, and I think the thing that was so exciting when I heard this is that as I've gotten more involved in the biking community here in Northwest Arkansas, big shout out to Bike NWA, big shout out to Bike Park, to Beatrice and Kim and, and all of the different groups that are here. There's so many groups. There's so many mountain bike groups. I mean, Sam Walton's grandkids love mountain biking, which is one of the reasons why There's been such a focus and an investment in biking. And yeah, I mean, it's crazy, right? Yeah. And so you you learn about these things and you're like, oh, I had no idea. But, you know, people wonder, because I even have friends on the East Coast that are like, I've come into Northwest Arkansas to ride. A lot of times it's mountain bikers, but I'm more of a, a traditional cyclist. I like to get on the road and just ride, or in this case, on the greenway and just ride. But you guys have kind of figured out a way to collectively come together. I would love for you just to share your story about how you guys got started, just a little bit about your time here in Northwest Arkansas and how you started Arkansas Latinas and Beachy. Yes. Well, my name is Olivia, the founder of Arkansas Latinas in BC, and I moved to Bentonville in 1988. Yeah, you told me that. We're actually, so just to frame this for everybody listening, I want you to picture this. We are at the A Street Market. We are physically in Juice Palm. Big shout out to Omar Kasem. Omar is a very dear friend of mine. He actually gave me permission to record this episode here today. So big shout out to them. We're actually enjoying some of their smoothies, but we are physically, and I did not know this, we're right across (laughs) from the momentary, but Olivia and Sophia told me that where we are right now was a chicken plant. Is that right? It was Tyson. It was Tyson. (laughs) So what, did Tyson move the chicken plant or what happened? They closed it and we worked here, but they closed it a few years later. Oh, okay. And they moved it, I believe. Okay. Yeah. The, okay. The, in fact, the, this was my first job. Okay. From when you came here? When I came. Right. Okay. Yeah. Right. Wow. That's amazing. So this is kind of like full circle for you. <laughs> it yeah, is. This is amazing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. So tell us, I mean, so you got here. What about you, Sophia? When did you get here? I got here in 1989. Okay. So because same time. Of, yes. Okay. All right. So wait, my, are you guys sisters? Cousin. Cousin. Her first cousin. Okay, first cousin. <laughs> she dragged me. She called me. She goes, I need to come over here. You need to come with me. That's funny. My first cousin convinced me to move to Boston when I was 26 years old. And 
after I had come back from living on the East West Coast. So, you know, first cousins will do that to you, you <laughs> yes, know, they like will sisters, force you to do yeah. something. Yeah, like and, sisters. So And later on, I moved my whole family here yeah. and uh, some of my cousins also came. Um, Other cousins, yes. Oh, okay. Here. Okay, so cool. There's a big family so over a here. a whole big group here. Yeah. So that's awesome. So you guys, I would love for you just to kind of share, when did your love of biking come up? When did that start? Well, I think, you know, I, my first experience with the bike, it was in Mexico, okay. in Durango, Mexico. Okay. Back then, my first bike was those uh, traditional bikes, banana seed. Yeah, exactly. I remember those. <laughs> <laughs> so that was my first bike. And, and of course, in Mexico, we, we used mostly back then, it was a form of transportation. transportation right, it was yeah. not much into a sport or cycling events. It was more people use it for daily life. Yeah. You needed it to live. It wasn't like now we ride bikes just for health's sake, but a lot of people actually rely on their bikes on a daily basis. Yes. So, yeah. And then in 2016, I started riding the bike. I joined a, a group that is called the Cross Bike Bentonville. That was yeah, my first yeah. experience yep, back here in, in 2016. And because of riding around Northwest Arkansas, you know, I saw the need of, you know, to bring this bike culture to my community. There were hardly any people of color, yeah. and especially women, now riding a bike. And after three years of, you know, being involved with the bike community and going to events here in Little Rock, I see that there's a need. Yeah, you know? absolutely. So that's what it took me to create a Arkansas Latinas in this. I said, I, we need this in our community. We need also representation in the bike community. Right. And a year later, this is where we are. Yeah. You know, we, we, I dragged my cousin to, that sounds familiar. <laughs> to join this uh, group. And I told her I need her support. I need, you know, her help. And here she is. And, you know, this uh, group was founded by two Latinas women with zero funding. And we right now we have, what, more than uh, 50 ladies who has joined the group. And we have a lot of work to do. There's yeah. still a lot of need for a group like, like this, like, bike park, right. like Latinas in BC in this area, there's not enough representation. There's not enough women of color who is riding a bike. And that's our mission. We yeah. are on a mission of promote cycling within the Hispanic community. Right. So promoting it, not just from just the day-to-day -day getting back and forth, going somewhere, but also from the health aspects of biking. I mean, biking has so many Benefits. Oh, uh, benefits. Yes, yes. yes, exactly. That's the word. I mean, it, the benefits of biking are off the charts. I've even made it a point lately, and I was telling you guys off air, was that I'm trying to purposefully use my bike to run errands, right? So I'm, I'm trying to think about ways that I can jump on the greenway and go certain places, and I actually can do it. I can ride my bike down to, down to Dixon Street from my home. I can jump on the greenway. The trailhead ends right by my house, and I can literally get throughout most of Fayetteville. And a lot of people that aren't from here don't realize how interconnected these mm -hmm. cities are. And I think it's kind of important for people to understand that. Have most of your members come from this area here, or are you attracting a larger group of people that have joined you? Well, actually in this area. But okay. we are getting, she's getting lots of messages from all over the United States. Like really? They're, yeah, they're starting to like the Instagram, look at the Facebook pages. And she starts to get messages like, how did you start it? How can we start? <laughs> right, we want right. the same thing. We're not seeing the same thing. Yeah. So they want to start. So that's awesome. But we do have basically in this area. And, and when we, you, let's go back to the education part. We want to educate women to ride their bikes and know how they're connected and how they can go to the grocery store or how they can run an errand real quick using their bike in the trail system. Yeah. So that's part of what we're in our mission to, to just to teach also how to, like you said, how they interact. Right. Your, exactly. The Greenway. Yeah, yeah. In different cities, you can go from one city to another city. Yeah. You know, and, and be safe. Yeah. And I love that. And actually, as you're saying that, I'm thinking about there's still, there's actually, there's opportunities to create that awareness, right? Mm -hmm. And mapping and to let people know, hey, if you live here, you can get these five or 10 places within a 15 minute bike ride. So, and you, you know, you take the average of what, what an average person rides a bike, a certain distance, right? It might be nine or 10 miles per hour, 
But whatever it is, I mean, I know there's some of us that like to ride 15 or 20 miles an hour. Mm-hmm. Those, you know, there's a lot of, there's a wide variety. But, but when you take an average, you can tell somebody, hey, you can go to these different stores in 10, 15, 20 minutes. And, you know, and then all of a sudden you, you have people pulling their cars off the road and instead getting on a bike and going somewhere. So you get the health benefits and you get to, you know, run your errand. Yes, and that's why you will see us everywhere. We're not, we're not just. <laughs> and in- you're right about that. I've been on the trail. I've been like, oh my god, I see you guys right there on the trail down in Springdale and in Fayetteville, and I've seen folks all over. And I was looking at, you know, I looked like you guys took a trip because I was looking on your Instagram, and it looked like you guys were on a gravel ride mm-hmm. somewhere. And I don't know where it was, but it didn't look like it was right here in this area. But have you guys taken a trip at all to? It, it was in Peerage. It was one of okay. the Okay, okay, it was in Peerage. But you know, you see us everywhere, like, and that's the reason why we want to educate the ladies in a group. You know, sometimes we meet in Bentonville. Uh, Rogers, Springdale, mm-hmm. in different areas so they can learn how to navigate the greenway. Yeah. And also, you know, they, because at the beginning, some of the ladies got lost. Yeah. Like, yeah. I don't know how to get oh. there. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to get from point A to point B. So right. that's the whole purpose of why we change location. We're not just only one city. We are in Northwest Arkansas. Right. You know, because you can ride your bike from Bella Vista all the way to Fairville. But if you don't know the the green wave, it can be intimidated. You know? Yeah, yeah. And, and the purpose behind the ride is not just to enjoy it, which is, I mean, that's the one of the points, but also, you know, to empower those women who wants to go from their house to the next city. Yeah. And also, we also wanted to teach them how to navigate, you know, how to create a, a way to go from the store, from the green wave, to the store. Sure. You know, sure. and that's, that's in our, in our mission is we always try to find a, a way to educate either in a healthy way or how to get to the store, how to, to go to the work because some ladies don't, don't have a don't, driver's license, license so they yeah. don't own a car. Yeah. So that, that is a, the educational part behind yeah. this just get together and ride. And- I mean, it, it has to feel overwhelming sometimes when you think of all the things that you could do with this, right? I mean, so you guys have started this. You've got these great, I mean, pink's not my color personally, <laughs> but I, you guys look really good with these jerseys on. I mean, so, yeah. No, but, but so you did, you did, you did a ride recently and, and it was a, you know, you had a huge turnout. I mean, you had men and women, kids, you had everybody come out for, it was a day of the dead ride. Uh-huh. And I got to say, and I'm, I'm waiting on my t-shirt, but the t-shirt was hot. I mean, it was, who designed that? Well, a friend of us, did, she's in the group and uh, asked her if she can help us. And her brother did the, <sighs> the artwork. The oh, artwork. I mean, and, it's uh, fabulous. Yeah, I'm going to put a, I, for those of you starts, listening. She gives the ideas. Okay. She goes, look, this is what I have in mind. Da, right. da, da, da. And then they go and they're like, okay. And they get it together. And sure enough, they come back and they're yeah. what well, we there's, wanted. There's actually two t-shirts. One that uh, has the yeah. Arkansas State. On the eye, yep. that's uh, from one of our, our ladies, they ride the bike. But the other one, who's very, the second school, one of our friends and member of the board, Patty, Patty Valencia, she, she was in charge of that. Mm-hmm. She's amazing. She's great, amazing. Great but creative. both of them, both of those t-shirts, you know, is that color, you know, that design and also that cultural connection with the bike. Right. That, right. That's the purpose of of why we are creating this event. Yeah, I love that. I mean, that t-shirt could be a nice cycling jersey too. So yes. just FYI. Just, but anyway, I, I, and I'll put some pictures of that in the show notes because you guys had a great event where I think you met down uh, downtown Springdale, right? Mm-hmm. Correct. And they had set it up nicely for you guys. And there was a lot of people yes. out there. How many people came out to that event? To the game, uh, I think a hundred. Wow. Around 100, okay. Right? Between sixty to a hundred people. Yeah. Around and sixty. They, children, you know, moms, dads, friends. They brought friends. They painted I, their faces. Yes, the whole nine yards. So I think what the most important thing is that we're trying to bring cycling. How can I say this? To the culture or culture to the cycling. Cycling, right, right. To the cycling community yeah. bring our culture and say hey come and experience well it's just adding your touch to it i mm-hmm. think and that's yeah. it right i mean i just think that, that that's just the way to do it i know that you know as i've gotten involved because i've been i think i told you i've been cycling most of my life but i really got serious about five years ago and probably i mean once i came here it was like oh i need to be cycling all the mm-hmm. time so you know once you kind of get bit by the bug 
It's hard to turn <laughs> it off. And so, and that's the other thing I like, the camaraderie. I have some friends, a big shout out to Anthony Sumlin and Richard and some other folks that I've gone out on the Greenway with on a regular basis. There's just nothing like that. There's nothing like just getting a bunch of people together saying, hey, I'll meet you here or I'll meet yes. you there. And then we go for a ride. I mean, it just, I mean, it's great. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. So, so what are your plans? How can we help you guys get the word out? Of course, we're going to push this out to the world and we're going to share this through social media. But if there's somebody listening to this, whether they are Latina or not, can they be involved with your organization? Yes. So we're diverse and we welcome everyone. We have lots of big plans coming up. We have three more events that we want to do. You can volunteer, you can get involved donating any which way you like. And also just come and ride with us. We're having three events. And plus, we're also going to be able to give back to the community. We're so excited. We finally got a little bit of funding. And so now we're able to give back to the community. So we're probably going to be looking at two scholarships, hopefully this year coming up for education. And that's what we're so excited is the part that we're giving back. We're also having a ride, just a friendly, fun ride on the 19th. Mm-hmm. And it's just December 19th. And it's just going to be a small little ride. And it's going to be like a Christmas ride. Posada? Yeah. Posada is also a cultural thing that we do. And uh, I don't know if you know about this. In, in Mexico, they go from house to house singing yeah, carols. Yeah. I, I, yes. I, and I, they carry I've heard the, of that before. So, okay. And so and, they, and you eat there or they offer you something to eat wherever right, you go right. sing. So that's hopefully, the thing I'd be most excited yes, about. Yes, that's what we're excited about. <laughs> I am. So we're going to ride our bikes to like one restaurant that's going to support us and then go ride the bike to another restaurant. Oh, so nice. that'll be cool. And then we'll be singing a little bit. Okay. And so and that's on this, uh, December, December 19th. 19th. Okay. Yeah. I'm not sure if this deal. episode comes out by then, but if it does, I'll make sure we give a shout out. I will give a shout out either way on social media. So if you're listening to this and this is after December 19th, we'll make sure you have connections in the show notes on how to get connected with Olivia and Sophia and if how you can go ride with them sometime because I want to ride with you guys at yes, some point. So you're welcome. I definitely want to do that. Yeah, we plan to do a small drive also okay. for the women's shelter December 19th. Oh, nice. Yes, that's nice. Okay. part of it too. So then you really have, I mean, you just have a heart not just to kind of connect different people that want to learn more about biking, but you want to turn it back on its ear and give it back to the community. Yes, of yes. course. Okay. Yes. All right. It's all about giving and, you know, helping others as well. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, because we don't want to be just like a little group that gets together on Wednesday yeah. afternoon and ride. I mean, there is a lot of need for our community, for the Hispanic community to, you know, to bring oh. more women oh. into cycling. There's sure. not enough. And one of, it's one of our, our mission, you know, like bring those ladies who had dedicated their whole life to take care of their families. Yeah. I mean, it, we also want to break the, you know, the condition or the way that we grow up thinking that, you know, we don't, we're not for, we don't own us a time to go and enjoy it ourselves. Right, right. I mean, it's breaking the cycle, it's getting more involved in the community and get to know the city in a different perspective. Yeah. You know, from the bike. It, yeah. The, everything looks different from a bike. Yeah. So what do you say to people that might be saying, well, this is all great, Olivia and Sophia, but I can't afford a bike right now. What, what, do you, cause I know that can sometimes be a barrier. Like I look, I know nobody would spend the money I spent on my bike. I love my bike and it wasn't cheap, but yes. what do you say to people that might be like, well, what do I do if I don't have a bike? Well, currently we, we have four bikes that I use for training. Okay. You know, those are some of them was donated to us from Pedal Forward. Okay. And some of them uh, are bought. Mm-hmm. We bought with our own money. And we use those bikes to train sure. the, ne- the newcomers, the new the new ladies who wants to join the our group. But also, you know, with these events that we create funding, hopefully we'll, we'll have enough mm-hmm. for women who wants to, first of all, learn. And hopefully we will get enough funding to donate at least one bike a year. Yeah. You know? Yeah. But we also work more or more. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, um, yeah. We also currently are working on a, you know, one of our passions and it's really touched my heart really deep because I have a son with disability. Mm-hmm. One of our, our things that we want to do is to help those family who has a member with a disability mm-hmm. because we know how hard it is, especially financial hard is to buy a bike. Yeah. We're trying to to make it more possible to to those families. Yeah. So that's uh, we're looking at donate one bike to a family who has a child with disability, and um, 
that's one of uh, on our agenda. Yeah. Well, we got to see if we can get you some more than just one bike. I mean, you guys are, I mean, I mean, you're really speaking my language when it comes to how you're giving back. And one of the things that I've always said about Northwest Arkansas since I've been here in, in the six years that I've been here is that this is a really giving community. I think people are very generous from that yes. perspective. So, you know, once you, once you, you know, you're heard, once the right person learns about you and what you're doing and what your mission is, you know, all bets are off because a lot of times what you'll find is people will step out and want to help you. They just want to help you. That's why when I heard about you, I was like, oh, I got to tell your story. I want to reach a wider audience and tell more people about what you guys are doing because I think it's great. Nobody needs to be the best kept secret of Northwest Arkansas. I think the <laughs> I word agree. should get out and people should know, hey, this is what's happening and this is what's going on. So, yeah, and so. if they want to donate a bike, I mean, they, they don't use, well, just reach out to us and we're yeah. going to pick it up and try to see if we can. There's always a need for a bike. Yeah. You know, we, you know, we not only want to educate the, the ladies in the group to navigate the greenway, but we also wanted to get involved with the mountain bike, mm -hmm. which we also, uh, last week we had a, a mountain bike ride. We also want to get involved with a, a gravel. Mm -hmm. Sure. So we want to be everywhere. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Why not? Why, Why not? not? So are you guys a 501c3 nonprofit? Yes. Okay, yes, so that's are. important to do. Okay, so we want we're, I'm I'll make sure that again in the show notes we put all that information in there. Do you guys have a website now or not, not, not yet. yet? Not yet. We're working okay. on it. So it, right now your primary Facebook. Instagram and Facebook. Okay, all right. So we'll and then you guys are what are you in, on Facebook if I look you up? Arkansas Latinas and BC. Ar Arkansas Latinas and BC. So I was saying in beachy, so yeah, but that's know, we that's more like Italian, I think, than anything <laughs> yes, else. Yes. That's it. So yeah, I, I and I apologize for that. So all right, so Arkansas Latinas in BC. If you look them up on Facebook, and of course they're on Instagram, and we'll we'll connect with them on the show notes so that you guys can you know take a closer look at what Olivia and Sophia are doing. I mean, I mean these are these guys are they're like sisters, but they're cousins, and they're doing something amazing here when it comes to bike riding. And and again. You know, it, they say it takes a village to create something special. And I think you guys in your corner of the village have kind of put something together that I think has real legs. And so I want to applaud you and congratulate okay. you for what you guys are doing. And just, again, say my platform is always open to you to kind of share all the stuff that you're doing and any way that we can kind of promote it and let people know about it. Because I'm all about healthy living. I'm all about people taking advantage of Northwest Arkansas. So since you guys have been here for a long time, you guys are truly like OGs because you guys have been here for a while. <laughs> a lot of times I'll talk to people that have only been here for five or 10 years like me, but then there's other people that, I mean, you guys have been here for a lifetime, you know, if you talk to some people. So, so you been around what what are some of your favorite things to do when you're not physically on your bike i know biking would be one of them that would be one of mine but outside of that what do you like to do here in northwest arkansas i like going to the lake during the summertime okay, okay. <laughs> and i love the trails i like to go walk the trails sure so sure. i enjoy i just enjoy nature a lot i yeah. like to be out and about i mean you can't get any more nature yeah, than exactly. here so. <laughs> yeah. it's beautiful beautiful to go research like all the trails that Northwest Arkansas has. Yeah. Devil's Den is one Devil's of them. Den it's is beautiful. Great. Yeah. And just, I enjoy trail walking a lot. Okay. So I do that a lot too. Okay. But um, yeah, the lake for sure in the summertime. Okay. I hibernate during winter, but not yeah. anymore. Yeah, I <laughs> you don't have a choice. Yeah. yeah. You don't. What about you? You know, lake, we usually go a lot to the lake during the summer. I also like to get together with my friends and family and make carne asada. Okay, there you go. Anything, you go. A, any, anything just to get together and, and kind of uh, make some food and, and enjoy the friendship and the family. Mm -hmm. I, I think those are my... Those are your things. Mm -hmm. okay. Other than the sure. bike. <laughs> I love that. I love, other than the bike, that's it. Yeah. And how often do you ride, Olivia? Well, I was riding a lot, a lot, but now this has been keeping me busy a lot. You know, just doing podcast uh, yeah. interviews, uh, emails, and uh, meetings, and this is, has this has become a full time job. Yeah, no, oh, I understand. Yeah, you know, it's funny how sometimes a passion that you find can can take on a life of its own, yes. and you look back, and you might you might look back ten years from now and be like, oh my gosh, this is a huge thing, and I've got different groups in different parts of the country now, and all that good stuff. So I I think it's I mean I think you're on to something. I think people. A, you've created a place where people can have age agency and not feel disenfranchised, and you've created a safe space for people to to work out 
and to embrace, you know, something that, like you said, some people have never thought about or taken the time to work out for themselves or get on a bike. And because that's always been thought of as, well, that's, that's something that you do if you don't have to work or something like that. But this is this or that's something that only rich people do. And it's like, no, everybody should be riding a bike. Yes. You know, we were talking about Holland and some other parts of the world where uh-huh. bikes are the first uh, mode of transportation. So, I mean, there's there's all kinds of opportunities out there for you. So I really appreciate you guys just kind of sharing your story today. And, and uh, if anybody wants to reach you and get in touch with you guys that's listening to this podcast. And again, remember, this podcast might play for a while. Who, how, how should they reach you? Do you? Email, phone, what's the best way for them to connect with you guys? Um, both ways. My phone number is uh, 479-366-4406. Okay. And, or email is uh, latinasnbc at gmail.com. Or okay. you can send us a DMS on Facebook or right. Instagram. Or Instagram, yeah. That's how we connected. We, we, yeah, because we, we kept going back and forth. And because when I first reached out to you and said, would you be on the podcast? You instantly responded like, sure. I was like, oh, great. Good. You know, you never know. Actually, be quietly is it's kept. Nobody has ever turned me down because everybody likes to talk about themselves. Right. I think that's important. That's that's the most favorite station we like to tune into WIFM. But what's in it for me? But but the bottom line is I'm so glad that you guys obliged me and came on to tell your story because I think it needs to be heard. I think people need to know that there are options out there. And again, whether you are Latina or not. The, the you guys can ride with these guys. I'm going to connect with you guys and ride with you. Yes, so, you like, know, I'm and be- you know, like I, cause when you guys were out at the bike pac event, mm-hmm. which was the people of color bike event that Beatrice and Kim put on about, they've done it twice now. We did one in Fayetteville yes. and we did one in Rogers. And I'm assuming they're going to try to do one in Bentonville, maybe in the, when it warms up again uh, in the springtime. So, yeah, I hope so. Yeah, I, mean, I, I know. They need to do that. But they need to do it in all these areas because I think it's it's good because you have like these different pockets. Like you've got a pocket of bikers in Bentonville. You've got a pocket of bikers in Rogers and in Springdale and in Fayetteville. But it's it's nice for us to all come together. It's a one bike community. Exactly. That's, that's yeah, what I yeah. always, uh, that's what I would like to see in, you know, also... One of the things that I want to mention is our group is uh, the it's a space where everybody are welcome and uh, we try to create a welcoming uh, atmosphere and not intimidated. Yeah. You know, we're not those elite women and <laughs> we're not have a, a skinny shape or, or yeah. a expensive <laughs> bikes. We are just uh, simple women who wants to create a representation, create a group where everybody you know, feel welcome. And yeah. uh, it doesn't matter what kind of age you are. We mm-hmm. don't have, there's age. no limit. Yeah, I love know? that. Or your level of cycling. Or, or cycling. your level yeah. of cycling. So, so hear, hear it very clearly. There's no body shaming going on. There are there are no, there's no judgment about the type of bike that you bring up. Maybe you start off slow with a bike that you've had for years yes. that you need to upgrade, but that's okay. The idea is just to get out and start biking and then mm-hmm. build on it from there. And I think you guys create a platform for that. Yeah, and get to get to see your city in a different perspective. Yeah, use the bike as a way of transportation, and let's together let's uh, create a bike community where you know where we don't use this car as much. Yeah, you know that's yeah. that's what the future looks like. You know. All right, so I'm going to put you on the spot. I'm going to ask you guys if you give me just a quick blurb if you want to speak in spanish because we'd love for you just to kind of tell those people that might listen and we'll cut this piece of it up so that we can share it with other folks too or you can share it but if you wanted to just give a spanish commercial for arkansas latinas in bc what would you say well uh primeramente este nosotros somos uh, arkansas latinas in bc es un grupo que está en el noroeste de arkansas y nuestra Nuestro objetivo es invitar a la comunidad latina a que disfruten un paseo en bici sin importar eh, la clase de bici que tengan o de qué nivel tengan de, de el, si son rápidas o son despacias no importa el, lo, no importa la edad tampoco tampoco la edad lo que este nuestra misión es crear este una comunidad uh, en bici y una comunidad pues que use la bici también como tipo de transporte y que eh, aprendan a navegar el, el Greenway, eh, que es eh, 
nos ofrece un panorama tan bonito desde Bellavista hasta Fedville y saber cómo llegar a desde el Greenway a, hasta su casa o a un a un este negocio. lugar negocio a su trabajo los esperamos este les extendemos la, la invitación a, a aquellas mujeres que tengan el deseo de crear uh, un estilo de vida diferente tanto físico como emocionalmente y mentalmente es, eh, estamos en Facebook en Instagram normalmente nos juntamos en Rogers pero también este tenemos diferentes uh, lugares que visitamos como Springdale, Bentonville. Eh, espero y se animen y nos, nos se unan a, a este grupo y todas son bienvenidas. Okay, cool. Now, you know, it's so funny because I'm doing Duolingo since the pandemic happened. I've been working on, I speak German, so I've been brushing up on my German, but I've also been brushing up on Spanish. So I understand a lot of what you said, but... For those of you that are listening that don't understand a word that she said, we'll make sure we put a translation in there for you. But I really did want her to speak directly to the community that she has initially, that both Olivia and Sophia have initially tried to attract, because that is the core of their mission and what they're trying to do with Arkansas Latinas and BC. So I appreciate you guys indulging us with that. And and again, it, for those of you that want to learn Spanish, I want to encourage you to do that. I I, I told these guys, and I'll tell you that the uh, guests of this podcast or people that the listeners of this podcast that I was at an event uh, about a, a year ago with uh, some folks that were thinking about Rogers 2030 and what Rogers is going to look like. And we were just focusing on Rogers, but you know, there's a huge Latino population in Rogers our Latinx population in Rogers and it's growing. And one of the things that we talked about was the importance. Yes, I know we're in America and yes, I know we speak English, but the importance of us to embrace all the languages around us. And, you know, the idea that language is important, it's a bridge. And so, you know, the more that we can learn other languages, the better off it will be. And I always tell the story when I lived in Germany. Yes, I learned German because I was there, but people wanted to learn English because they knew I could speak English. So I shared with them. So I encourage my Latinx brothers and sisters to share and in encourage others to learn their language in the same way that they would learn English and, and kind of go from there. But I appreciate you sharing that little snippet of what Arkansas Latinas in BC is all about. And uh, we will be sure to cut that up so that other people can hear about it and they can learn more about your organization and get involved. Because I think the more people, the better. Would you agree? Yes. yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, thank you guys so much. This has been amazing. I really appreciate you guys coming out to join me here at Juice Palm in Bentonville at the A Street Market. Definitely give uh, Omar a shout out if you come in here. Get the uh, the I Am Northwest Arkansas special, which is the Live Decadent. I think it's a smoothie <laughs> with, uh, it's got uh, almond milk, it's got cocoa nibs, it's got honey, it has banana and some ice. And it's absolutely amazing. Oh, and it has peanut butter. So if you like peanut butter in your smoothies, that's the smoothie to get. Live Decadent here at uh, Juice Palm in the A Street Market. Tell them Randy sent you. <laughs> They'll take good care of you. So that's all we have for this week. I appreciate you ladies once again for coming on the podcast. And I'm definitely going to work out a new another episode with you guys in the near future. Maybe I'll connect you guys with Beatrice and Kim and we'll do something else. Or we'll connect all of you guys with Bike NWA and do some type of fundraiser so we can get yeah, more than one bike for, yes. for, for, for the folks that need it. So, sure. yeah. Thank you. Thank yeah. you for the invitation. We Thank appreciate you, it. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, there you have it, folks. Another episode of I Am Northwest Arkansas. So excited to have Olivia and Sophia from Arkansas Latinas in BC on this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you learned something today. And um, again, we are continuing to move this thing forward, continuing to tell the stories that matter here in Northwest Arkansas. I really am having so much fun with this podcast. And, and more importantly than that, I just appreciate all the feedback that I'm getting from each and every one of you. So as always, you, you can find this podcast wherever great podcasts can be found. Apple, SoundCloud, Stitcher, Spotify, iHeartRadio, Amazon Alexa. You can ask Alexa to play the latest episode of the I Am Northwest Arkansas podcast, and she'll do that for you. So check us out wherever great podcasts can be found. Rate and review us. Let us know what you think about the podcast and continue to tune in. We come out every Monday at noon. So every week we have a new episode of something great and amazing happening, an event a person, a, an organization, a movement like Arkansas Latinas in BC. So thank you guys so much for checking out this episode today, and we will see you next week. 
peace. We hope you enjoyed this episode of I Am Northwest Arkansas. Check us out each and every week, available anywhere that great podcasts can be found. For show notes or more information on becoming a guest, visit IamNorthwestArkansas.com. We'll see you next week on I Am Northwest Arkansas.